This is East Tennessee music scene on the rise. I'm Scott Thomas. I'm here with the Digital Drug. Hello. Hey, Hello. part of us. Hello. Well, part of the Digital Drug. We got some digital half. drugs. We're not exactly all half. And I'll go ahead and let them introduce themselves to you individually and tell you what they play. Starting, uh, starting at the end. At my end. Hi, I'm Quentin, and I play drums in the Digital Drug. <laughs> and I also sing a little bit of harmony. Then I'm kind of bossy sometimes. Just a little bit sometimes, not all the time. I'm Ryan, I'm the vocalist of the group. Uh, sometimes I will play guitar, but luckily I could, uh, I've could. i got two other individuals that handle that position very well. <laughs> You're all great. Chris is really great too. Um, hi, I'm Jamie Brayman. I sing and I play keyboard and violin for the digital drum. Just as best as I can. Yes. Just to make sure everybody knows, this is the digital drug. Yes, the digital <laughs> drug. <laughs> I the digital drug. <laughs> when you go home and you inject your Facebooks, don't forget about us. Yeah. How long have you guys been a band as the digital drug? Oh, wow. So uh, about two months. Two months, really. Uh, or maybe, yeah. We, we got, the, got everybody together. Um, and uh, it's about January. So, yeah. That's cool. You have some songs. You're working on some songs and... Albums or anything like that? Well, actually, we uh, have a full album already. Ten songs. So, ten songs were recorded with Travis Wyrick at Lakeside Studios here in Knoxville. Ooh, and uh, that's a good plug for Travis. Yes, <laughs> Travis is awesome, I tell you. I, anytime I can give him a shout out, I will. But uh, so, we already have ten songs. Um, we've released one called Going Under. Uh, we're actually going to release one this week, which is, uh, well, yesterday was the eighth. So, whenever this comes out, it'll probably be out. But uh, called Chance at Romance. Uh, so that will leave us eight that we're just going to eventually bleed out over time. Um, and uh, we're going to have an album release show in Oak Ridge. That's where we're going to probably release a good batch of them, too. Okay, so, yeah. cool. So you have uh, pressed CDs, or is it everything just digitally? Since you're a digital drug. That's true. Everything digital, right? That's <laughs> true. So right now, everything's digital right now. Um, we're at this, when we actually do the actual show. We have the some options. Show. Yeah. Yeah, uh, we'll have, we're actually considering some vinyl as well. Yeah, we're going to so do vinyl. We're going to have, try to have cool. some, yeah. Vinyl's coming back these days. It yeah, is. a lot of people like it. It is. It's just the sound of it. Nice you know, and get warm. Sit back at and least that's what it. everybody says. Kind you know? of a rebellion <laughs> against all the digital drugs. People actually Ooh. getting together for a sit down. Analog drugs. Just together. like Mima and Peepaw used yeah. to use. You open up the vinyl just like a book <laughs> and it's a, whole, it's a whole thing. And just in case people don't know, we are here at the Open Chord where they sell record players. I thought yes. you were going to say drugs. <laughs> no. <laughs> they sell record players so you can... Come Music here, purchase a record drive. player. Yes. We, we always like to at least mention Open Chord once. Yes. Yeah. They have, some, they have some really good equipment back here. Yes. We were looking through. Music store is great. Oh, yeah. Venue is awesome. So uh, come in, check it out. I yeah. played a really nice Cremona electric uh -huh. violin. Get one of their records, their vinyls, and come in to Open Chord and buy one of their record players so you can Ooh. listen to the vinyl. Perfect. Boom, yes. That That's sounds great. Right there. <laughs> that was what I was getting at before. Uh, <laughs> that was nice. In a roundabout way, you know? <laughs> yeah, that yeah. was nice. <laughs> yeah. You know musicians like herding well, cats. Roundabout. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, but, I mean, as far as, as that, uh, we've actually had a couple shows under our belt already. Mm -hmm. uh, we played in uh, Charlotte. Or just outside Charlotte a couple weeks ago, and Iron Station, uh, North Carolina. Exactly. It was so fun. Yeah, barn party. It was a barn barn party. Yeah. So it was, was was it a venue? Uh, actually, so the band that we played with, they have a pretty good following in the Charlotte area, mm -hmm. and uh, but they have come to the conclusion that they have a better turnout when they host their own parties. They have this, they have okay. a farm, and so I bet you there was at least 150, 200 Full -size people. Full size stage. Yeah. Giant PA system. It felt very intimate. Pack. They brought food out. and a big smoker. Yeah, and smoke and brisket. Free food, <laughs> keg for sharing. It was, really it was a very down home experience. Yes. Very comfortable. Mm -hmm. but, uh, but yeah, so and when we played in Murfreesboro um, uh, that same week, but we have about another 14 shows lined up as of right now. Yeah, we're playing Edwardsville, Illinois this Saturday. Mm -hmm. uh, by St. Louis. Yeah, right by St. Louis. Um, I'm up, actually from just about two and a half hours away from Edwardsville, Collinsville, yeah. Fairview uh, Heights, yeah, yeah. North Allen. Oh, yeah. That, that's where uh, I spend half Small. of my time. I travel back and forth for work okay. uh, between Murfreesboro, Tennessee, and there. And so, very luckily, uh, we have three really good jumping off points for going to tour, you know. 
Edwardsville, Illinois, Nashville area, and then Knoxville area because Adam's here. And, you know, through networking and making friends with other bands, because bands should support each other. Exactly. Yeah. Um, you know, we're finding other places that we can crash and stay and book shows and stuff. So we've already got 16 that we've booked. We played two, but we're going all the way as far north as Canada, yeah. um, as far west as uh, I think the Edwardsville show is probably yeah. about as far west as yeah, we're going to the Midwest. To and then as far south as, uh, as uh, New Orleans and up yep. through D.C. And we've got a lot of stuff working that uh, we're hitting the ground running, we're hitting it hard, and we're ready to get at it. That's awesome. Yeah. You guys also should go out to uh, Austin. Austin, Texas 100%. is some of the best music oh, yeah. out oh, yeah. there. And they're not only country. I mean, there's everything. Oh, yeah. Out South there. by Southwest is incredible. Yeah. <laughs> That's on our radar. So yeah. we're, we're actually looking at next some year. shows out there next year. Yeah, definitely. I know of a, a heavy metal band that plays out that way. They're actually based in Austin. So. Oh, yeah. Oh, so Who are they? If you wouldn't have asked me, I wouldn't have remembered <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's a... You can dub that in later. It's yeah, like, yeah. put your hand over your mouth and say it. <laughs> Actually, the son of a lady I work with for charity purposes, mm -hmm. for my hydrocephalus charities, mm -hmm. her son plays for a rock band. You can dub that in later. Just check it out. <laughs> we sure do love Texas metal band. Insert... <laughs> yes. Uh, we'll, try to we'll try to remember that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Production, post-production <laughs> magic. So, digital drugs. Um, what would you describe as your sound? I know everybody has their own way of, of putting words to their sound. So, would you describe yourself as a progressive, indie, anything along that? So, if I was going to describe the actual sound, I would say, yeah, I mean, there's really hard, if you can try to compare it to somebody, it's kind of hard to. Of course, I'm, I know a lot of bands say that, but... I'd say... It's kind of a ahead. throwback to the emo music. It rock, yeah, it's say like emo. But then it's on the heavier end. It's definitely like heavier end, radio-friendly rock. Uh, rock with, with pop, pop sensibilities, yeah. you know? Well, there you go. It's, yeah. it's catchy. It's definitely, oh, okay. it's definitely radio friendly. The songs are very well produced by Mr. Wyrick. And um, everything is, you turn it on and you're thinking that you've already got it on 94.3. Yeah. Really is, is what it sounds like to me. And that's not just, you know, one or two songs. That's every song on this album that we're, you know, on, on these couple albums that we're going to release. Um, yes. These ten songs are all just really nice and catchy and they have go from like the heavier spectrum to more of a pop punk ish feel to um, a ballad to you know it's kind of all over the place and with our live show evolving now because we have six people that can all play music and sing and different instruments and yeah. auxiliary stuff and we can switch instruments which we do uh, during our set we trade instruments and, and on oh, different songs cool. yeah that's that's cool right yeah because we have an awesome group. I'm really excited to be a part of this group and uh, and see where everything goes. Me too. Yeah. yeah. And I'm glad that some of the stuff I brought in later are going to be helping write the next album. Yeah. Cool. You guys have a set within a set, so you can play one instrument for three songs or however many songs you can switch yeah. up. Exactly. Keep the audience guessing. Yeah. Exactly. Like, what are you going to play next? Right, exactly. Because <laughs> exactly. there's some songs that, you know, Jamie plays keys and violin, so if she hops off the keys to jump on the violin, then we have our bass player move over to the keys and our one of our guitarists moves the bass. So we still got guitar, bass, violin, keys, exactly. drums, and singing all happening at once, you know. That's that sounds like a good It's a show. full sound. It's definitely a wall of sound. Uh, that's, and spe specifically on the recording, it's like getting hit in the face, you know? It's a big wall of sound, and that's what we're recreating with the live show, and it's been a lot of fun to put our own spin to it, since we weren't necessarily involved with the initial recording process. Uh, so, we tweak little know, things here it. and there. Hey, let's do a build to a pause here instead of carry through, or, you know, let's have a clap sing-along part here where we drop out and give a violin solo, you know, stuff like that that we're tweaking that we're kind of finding our own sound within the sound that has already been created, too. Yeah, every band usually has some kind of sound or basis for what they put in their music. Yeah. Even in the lyrics. I mean, you might draw your lyrics from personal experience, you might draw your lyrics from worldly events. Uh, bingo, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And 
what, what do you guys usually do in the writing process? Is it worldly events or That's good to have deep a good personal thing. experience? Sure, and we, of course we all have our own approach. Uh, me personally, uh, especially for this album, a lot of it just comes from uh, personal experiences and feelings that uh, you know, I've dealt with. Yeah. Uh, so uh, that's primarily where I come from. Same, um, little uh, social commentary tinged in most most things I help write, um, but yeah, I, the writing process is, you know, it's like chemistry. You mix all the things together and it comes out with a new product at the end. We're creating like an ecosystem because we're all different kinds of animals. We have like our own different styles that we're all kind of mashing up. Mm -hmm. yeah. I take a lot of uh, inspiration from language. I'm kind of bilingual and I study linguistics and I just love seeing how different people express how they feel things about differently. Like you can use three different words to say the same thing, but do they all really feel the same way about it? Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's and kind of funny about the English language. There's a specific word you can say in different ways, like mm -hmm. read and read. Oh yeah. 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 And red sounds like the color red, but right. it's actually, I read the book. Exactly. Ah! exactly. <laughs> Clear your mind, right? Yeah, yeah. Blue, before it was uh, the crayon color that everyone has come to know and love, meant God in French. It was like, the sky, now blue. Mm, yeah. So <laughs> the songs that we've released now, specifically, though, the first couple, mm. uh, Going Under is about suicide. It it's is. about the kind of the dark path that some people fall into where they... Um, isolate themselves or get ostracized and, and you lose your ambition yeah. yeah and and find that that loneliness and they give into it and and go all the way with with their thoughts you know yeah. I'm, I'm sure everybody has depressive thoughts and maybe even thoughts of hurting themselves i've been really close back in my past life whenever i was uh, dealing with some addiction issues and stuff where i was pretty close um but this is the song is about giving hope saying like you don't ever have to feel alone. There's always somebody you can talk to. There's always somebody you can reach out to. Yeah. Like, please do that. If, if you're ever feeling down on yourself, like, don't let those thoughts build up. Bring in a little bit of light into the darkness. Yeah, exactly. 100%. But we got a music video for that one yeah, coming out. The music video will probably be dropping. I don't want to push the producer for it, but uh, <laughs> probably in the next couple of weeks. Uh, so You can put your hand up and say, it's going to come out. And yeah. then insert <laughs> so he, time he starts here. sweating. He's like, "Oh gosh, I don't know if I can get that done." <laughs> but now we actually uh, for uh, for that video too, we involved Sarah Claxton from Envy Clothing in yeah. that. So she's she's in it. She had a big part in it. Yeah. So she's really cool. Uh, yeah, she's a really great person. So uh, and doing a lot of good things around the area. So yeah. plugging a lot of people here today. Hey, there you go. hey, they help us. We help them. Exactly. <laughs> we like to plug people on this show. Networking oh, is yeah. a good thing. <laughs> you know, yeah. support of the entire scene. Oh yeah. That's mm -hmm. what we wanted to build this show off of. 100%. Supporting everybody in the scene, whether you be a heavy metal, uh, I don't want to call them screamo, but a lot of people of them call are. them that way. Yeah, sure. They, they don't like to be called that way. It's death metal or dark metal or something Doom like metal, that. Yeah. Doom metal, yeah. Doom yeah. metal, yes. Doom is fun. So yeah. from that all the way down to something that's yeah. just acoustic sucking away, mm -hmm. everybody in the spectrum, we want to make sure we get them out here and try to push their sound. Oh yeah. yeah. Dig yeah. it. We just love to support everything. So yeah. That's the that's the name of the game yeah. there. Yeah. The more the merrier, the busier, the happier everyone is. We'll and we're all, and we're all doing this of our own free will and, and uh, volunteering our time. So yeah. Yeah. And well that's because it's passion. Mm -hmm. You know yes. some people <clears throat> spend all their money and stuff on sports memorabilia or some people collect pogs you remember pogs pottery barn Those a long fun. long time ago yeah oh gosh, or like uh or video game systems or whatever and some people like music and yeah. if that's their passion and they want to get out and mosh to a metal band and that's their cathartic release or you know play in front of a crowd of a thousand people and uh scream at the top of their lungs and do it you know, oh, yeah. if you find your audience, if you if you're even if you don't, if you're doing it in your basement all alone and you're getting that release, and then that's a hel that's a healthy thing. Yeah. And you guys were talking about music. You gotta videos. practice in the basement so that you're on your game when you get to the show. Right. <laughs> you were talking right. about music videos. Our camera guy that's doing this, these videos every right. week. He's Shout with, out! What's his he, name? Scott Anthony. Shout hey, out to hey, Scott. Scott. <laughs> uh, uh, we gotta make sure we mention the Therapy Brothers Entertainment that he goes by okay. doing videos. Mm -hmm. But he does music videos or show videos. So anybody looking for that? Are Scott Anthony. 
I'm guessing they would be. It's Therapy <laughs> Brothers Entertainment. That's true. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> awesome. He does a great video, so yeah. we appreciate him coming out here and doing all this. Yeah, I know I don't say that enough, but we appreciate everyone involved in this process, from Thank editing, you. from uh, video, myself included. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks to, to you I, for I, having I us out. I want to myself, but you know. You're doing great. And the open cord for being such awesome yeah. people and allowing us to do these videos every week. It's a nice place. Takes yes, a village. It yes. Get yeah, things put together. Takes a village to raise a band. Yeah, there you mm. go. <laughs> or, or 10 or 15 or 20. That's, that's true. Maybe. That's true. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> the village. <laughs> like what the, the twist. <laughs> it's all right. So, social media. Have mm -hmm. we talked about that yet? Where Not can we yet. find your social media stuff? Facebook? Oh. Facebook. So yeah, Facebook's going to be the key. Uh, so right now, if you look up, if you just go to Facebook and check out at Booking the Digital Drug, uh, you'll find us. Backslash Booking the Digital Drug. Right. So I mean, if you just go to your search and to put in at Booking the Digital Drug, you'll find everything from our Spotify uh, to our Apple Music to iTunes, uh, golly, SoundCloud, just about yeah. everything that's there, it's there. So uh, hashtag, that's where you look for. Hashtag do the digital drug. That yeah. too, yeah. That's a good hashtag. So we're talking all the social media. Yes. If it's oh, yeah. there and it's possible, we, we're doing it. So Twitter. YouTube? Uh, uh, yes, YouTube. Who's managing our MySpace? Oh, oh uh -huh. shoot. We don't have that one. Come on. We'll it's all for that. musicians now. <laughs> that is true. That's true. So I don't that, have all my million GIFs on my, uh, <laughs> my page anymore. But yeah, so if you just, uh, basically what we say is if you check us out on Facebook, you're going to find links to, to everything. Yeah. So yeah. Awesome. You did just plug Apple Music and Spotify and... All that stuff? Yeah. Oh, good. I did, yeah. yeah, yeah. I missed, I missed Make that. sure you check these guys head. out on all the social medias, all of the music <laughs> outlets, everything possible that you can get with the digital drug. Yes. Yes. We'll be glad to see them on stage at some point. Hopefully very soon Tinder. around this area. Yes, definitely. Like I said, we got the Oak Ridge show, <laughs> um, and we're trying to space our shows out to where we're only playing one in like area for about once every three months. Okay. That way we don't oversaturate ourselves. Because yeah. uh, in past times we'd play, you know, I've been in projects, we play four shows a week in the same area. Yeah. But uh, That's but, how you learn, not to do that exactly, later. Exactly, exactly. So yeah, uh, we'd love to be back, in, be back in Knoxville again here soon. Well, hopefully we can see you on stage at some point in the Knoxville area, whatever stage that might be. Hey, this stage Possibly is pretty here, nice. here at the Open Court, maybe. Great. Yeah. If Sam Mac, I, I can never say his last name very very well, but the booking guy for Open Court, Sam. Yeah, Sam. Book these guys. Please, Sam, please. Hey, Sam. Book us. Give <laughs> us your We can discuss books. over a beer. Hit us with books. <laughs> is there anything else you guys would like to pass along before we uh, bring this to a close? Oh, uh, just, you know, we'd very much appreciate you come check us out. Come out to our shows and have fun with us. Boom, come there. Come I am yeah. in control of my own destiny. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, no, just yeah, we appreciate, we appreciate you all having us out. We really do. Well, we thank you guys for coming in and uh, talking to us a little bit. And we'll try to come back and revisit you after a few months or sure. maybe even next year. Sure. Yeah. See where you are. I want to come then. revisit you. All right. I'm glad. Yeah. <laughs> Nice Visits. to meet you. <laughs> My hands are cold, sorry. Oh no, that was nice. <laughs> Next time we'll make it a potluck. Okay. Yeah, we'll bring yeah. some food, yeah. Bring a some buffet meal? chowder. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. Mm. Awesome. I'm making garlic mashed potatoes. This has been East Tennessee Music Scene on the Rise. I'm here with the D Digital Drug. Check them out anywhere you can see them on a marquee. Make sure you come to any of their shows. Okay. We'll see you next time. Love you, Mom. <laughs>